Jumping straight to the bottom of the ninth inning of this afternoon's Twins game. Twins down 8-4, to four, but Jorge Polanco hits a two-run home run. Kind of keep in a minute. Kepler follows that with a solo homer of his own, bringing the Twins within one. Royce Lewis gets on to bring up Matt Wallner, and he almost did it again, y'all. He almost did it again. A great swing on this one going the other way. Just shy. Man, would that have been amazing. <laughs> With the run he's on right now, a walk-off home run. Uh, that would have been incredible, but uh, the next uh, hitter hit into a game-ending double play. Going back to the seventh inning here, the way this kind of went down was Griffin Jacks just got crushed in the seventh inning. Uh, he gave up four runs in the seventh inning, a couple home runs in there, a triple in there. Um, it was a tough Tough start for Kenta Maeda. He only went four innings. He had to throw 87 pitches to go through four innings. Um, and at that point, you have to ask a lot of the bullpen. You have to ask a lot of guys to deliver an inning, especially if you're only going single inning guys. And, you know, it just wasn't Jack's, uh, to, not his day to say the least. Uh, four runs in that inning. Ouch. Taking a look at the hitters. Royce Lewis, man, guy doesn't miss a beat. A three-hit game. Edward Julian, four-hit game. You know, he, he had some uh, adventures in the field and on the bases, but uh, here is some exclusive TF Twins video of Joe Ryan working out pregame. I was at this game, saw Joe working out there. He was throwing, uh, he was running, testing that uh, strained groin. Uh, he should be starting a rehab assignment soon. Moving to St. Paul here, we're going to take a look at a couple of nice double plays. That one started by Austin Martin. This one started by Brooks Lee to Martin to Junior Severino, who you know, not a guy who has a lot of first base experience, but doing that Kent Herbeck-esque flop there. Uh, but Louis Varland pitched into the seventh inning in this one, gave up six hits, three runs, but only one of them earned. Three walks and five strikeouts. So he pitched well. This was the game-deciding play here. Lee can't quite get to that, and Celestino, I think, was coming up wanting to get ready to throw home, potentially, and instead he can't feel. It was a, it was a poor fielding game. For the Saints in that one, unfortunately. Alex Isola hits his 16th home run of the season. This guy has been blistering hot. He's basically like the Chris Williams of Wichita, essentially. A guy who plays a lot of first DHs. He was a DH today, but does catch a little bit. Catches like uh, I think 15 or 16 starts back there. Uh, but his 16th home run, he has an 837 OPS this year. 29th round pick back in 2019 was Alex Isola. Travis Adams, see here, he's had a hard go of it in Wichita, uh, but he carried a no-hitter into the seventh inning tonight for Wichita, fielding his position well, uh, getting a lot of help, uh, but it made it look easy. He only had two strikeouts. Pitched into the seventh inning with only two strikeouts. Again, carried a no-hitter into the seventh inning, gave up a, ho a solo homer and a hit before being removed. But it's great to see him have a strong start. Both Varland and Adams pitch into the seventh inning in the high minors tonight. Christian McLeod wasn't quite as lucky. He got beat up. Uh, the Mighty Muscles game was suspended due to rain, so they're going to pick that one up a little later. Andrew Stevenson and Alex Isola with three hit games. Andrew Cassetti hit his 12th home run of the season, six with Cedar Rapids. Um, the, it wasn't a great day across the system. You know, the Twins lost, frustrating. Detroit just has had their number, but the win surge, the only team that picks up a win, and how unlikely, considering those records, <laughs> that that would be the case. But good job for Wichita. Thanks for checking this out. Thanks to all the channel members. Here are the premium members. We'll talk again soon.